So you got a party coming up. You got a kids party coming up. You got a bridal shower. You got a wedding shower. You got something that you're in charge of bringing desserts and you want to keep it light. You want to keep it cute even. Rice Krispie Treats, the way to go. This episode coming up, I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. We're talking Rice Krispies, we're talking Cocoa Pebbles, we're talking Fruity Pebbles, we're talking different chocolate dips, sprinkles on top. It's going to be the great episode. You're going to want to check it out. So, let's get to it. Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Dave and you're watching Dave's Taste Buds. Got a great episode for you for today. Gonna make a nice, simple treat. And then at the end, stick around. You gotta stick around. Cause at the end, I'm gonna take it to the next level. We're gonna dip them in some chocolate. We're gonna add some sprinkles. We're gonna really spice it up. But you already know what we're making because you clicked on the video to check it out. So now I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let's get right into it. Piece of cake. We only have three simple ingredients. Rice Krispies, Jet Puff Marshmallows, and a little bit of butter. So. I'm gonna go right into the pan with it. First of all, get Rice Krispie treats. Don't get the generic kind. Just, just, I mean, if you're gonna do it, get it right. Same with these, jet puffed. Right into the pan, it's so easy. I already got this pre preheated, my cast iron pan. You know how much I love it. We're just gonna melt this butter down. And it's just really just a combination of butter, marshmallow, and the treats. And as you can see later on, we're gonna move this to I'm gonna make a batch of cocoa pebbles. I'm also gonna make a batch of fruity pebbles too, but for the video, the majority of it is going to be your classic. Get this heated up. Looks good. Three tablespoons butter. Next in, your marshmallows. It calls for 10 ounces. The bag is 12 ounces. I'm gonna dump and go with the whole bag. Cause why not, right? Can't have too much marshmallow. Scratch that. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this cook down. This could take a couple minutes while we're talking real quick. Um, history of Rice Krispies, it was uh, first developed in 1920. Eight as a cereal, it was marketed as the talking cereal, hence Snap Crackle Pop, which came along a few years later as another marketing campaign to draw more attention to the cereal. So this has been around a long time. It's really just a combination of uh, rice paste, they call it, sugar. And the machine cuts it into the little shapes and then they bake it. And what that does is that creates that thin layer of the crispiness with the air puffed in the middle puffs up when it cooks and when you add the milk that's when you get your crack 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 <clears throat> crack snap snap jesus uh, honestly I, I don't know what's wrong with me i just had a complete brain fart as i call it there snap crack and pop The Rice Krispie Treat, oddly enough, is another little fun fact for you. Two women from the uh, Research and Development Department were in the Holmec test kitchen with their Rice Krispie Treats and added some butter and marshmallow to them and came up with this recipe. It was actually, oddly enough, they put it together for a uh, fundraiser for Campfire Girls. And it's been the same recipe ever, ever since. Till today. keep this moving around. You know I love my cast iron pan and I really hope that I'm just not trashing this pan by doing the sticky marshmallow in here, but I hope I don't. And as you can see, if you, if you can see up close, I don't know if you can get a good focus on it, but I mean there are, so you see that some of the butter has actually browned a little bit, which isn't a bad thing because what you want to do is that's going to take out some more of that flavor from the butter. So. I'm not going to worry that there's a little bit of what looks like brown butter in there because that is going to be delicious. So as you can see, we're almost there. 
There we go. Now that we got this to a nice consistency, lower that heat a little bit more. Now here comes the messy part. So it starts to get a little bit messy. This is six cups of Rice Krispies going right in there. It's a nice little recipe you can do with the kids if you want to get them involved. It's a little, uh, it's a little hot. You get a little bit of supervision, but kids will get a kick out of this. In fact, as I'm stirring this, and I know later on that I'm going to make some with the cocoa pebbles and the fruity pebbles, you could also mix them too. You could put, you know, a little of everything in here. Cocoa pebbles mixed with regular, co cocoa pebbles mixed with the fruity ones, combinations of the different stuff you can do. gloves out of the vanity. As you can see, I'm kind of just going around, getting it folded. This looks extremely sticky. I'm actually glad I used those extra marshmallows. So once we get it in the pan, get it in the fridge, let it set, cut them up, we're ready to move on. All right, that looks good to me. Now, you're gonna take your nine by 13 pan, get some parchment paper in there. Little uh, kitchen trick for you. If you cut at an angle from the corners into the middle, pushes it down a little easier, keeps it from popping up. Even though I've done this, I'm still gonna hit it a little bit of cooking spray because you do not want these to stick later on. So, take these. I should have considered how heavy this pan was. Just get, the, get right in there and then I'll deal with it once it's in there. This must look super flattering on camera, huh? Fat Dave trying to hold this thing up. Try to work it down a little bit with your spatula. This stuff is not kind. Use this, try that. Some people just use a knife. I might just get right into it with my bare hands if I can't get it to cooperate. Just kind of push it down, pack it down, move it around, get it to the edges. You're ultimately going to end up cutting these into squares or triangles or octagons or hexagons or trapezoids or parallelograms. Quite frankly, I don't care what shape you make them. The point is, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to get them all in there. I need some more out of here. Waste not, want not. Pack it down, pack it down. All right. That's it. I'm gonna go right into that, pop them in the fridge, be right back. So like I said earlier, I'm gonna take these to the next level. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna melt down some chocolate morsels and I'm also gonna melt down some Toll House white chocolate morsels and then we're gonna do some dipping. So. Let's head over to the other camera. I'll show you how to get this double boiler working. So essentially what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to have, you don't wanna melt your chocolate directly over the heat. So get yourself a pan with some boiling water in there. I just did that. Some boiling water in there. Put your pan on top, heats that up. So the steam is gonna heat that up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our morsels. Dump them right in there. are immediately going to start to melt. Get some spatula, fork, spoon, something. Just kind of keep giving them a stir. Right. This is dangerous. I 
So what I like to do is I like to take a little bit of cream in there too. Not a lot, just a little, a couple tablespoons maybe. Just kind of let the heat do the work. It's gonna heat this chocolate up. It's gonna melt them down. This way, I mean, if you put this chocolate on that direct heat and tried to melt this down, chances are it's gonna burn. So, what you wanna do, just melt it down just like this. Next thing you know, you have nice melted morsels. And we're gonna stick these Rice Krispie treats right down inside there. Get a nice coating, and we're gonna make the most delicious Rice Krispie treats probably that the world has ever known. I mean, I, 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 mean, I don't wanna make a claim like that, but you know, it could be. If you were here and you could taste them yourself, you could be the judge. But at the end, I'm gonna taste them all, and I'm gonna let you know what my thoughts are. So, let's get it cooked down like that. Get a nice, decent consistency. It's gonna turn off that heat, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the same thing with the white chocolate. Now that we've let these set up, I kind of just trimmed them down, cut the edges off so they're a little bit, you know, smoother, so when I go to cut them, they'll look better. Anyway, slab of regular Rice Krispie Treats. Slab of Fruity Pebbles. Very sticky, by the way. Slab of Cocoa Pebbles. So, now that I got them cut the way I want, I'm gonna take it over to the other camera. Okay, now that I got the rough edges cut off, I got the Fruity Pebbles and the Cocoa Pebbles already done. So, let's show you real quick with the regular. You can make these any thickness, any thinness, any shape, your triangles. You can use a uh, cookie cutter and do all kinds of cookie cutter shapes. I'm just gonna keep it relatively basic today. A nice straight line, huh? Easy to cut. I'm gonna make them a little bit longer because I'm gonna be using a deep ramekin to dunk with the chocolate. Just like that. Put these out on the thing. Next step, we'll go ahead and dunk some of these. Now that we got everything cut into rectangles, we got our milk chocolate, we got our white chocolate. Just gonna randomly take these, dunk it in there, a little bit of a twirl, lift that up. Well, that's, could be a little thinner. That's all right. That's chocolate, chocolate. That was actually regular and chocolate. Just gonna do a couple so you can see it. White chocolate. White chocolate's a little bit different, guys, so just be aware of that. It's more oily almost when you try to melt it down. This is actually cooled a little bit, so. The sooner you get it done when it's hot, the better. This is cooled down a tiny bit, but we can make it work. Fruity pebbles. You get the idea. Make sure you're putting them onto um, either a non-stick pan or preferably, preferably. Preferably, preferably, preferably parchment paper, something that'll come off. Got that. You get the idea, guys. Something like that. You can do this with different, you know, different dipping stuff too. Get that. Some of these, just to give them a little bit of flair. That. Some of these on that. Get different kinds of like these. Kind of what the occasion is. See how that sets up? It's almost, it's boiling. Nice. Now, I'm gonna put these on a quick little tray, show you what they look like, and then, uh, yeah, you'll be ready to make them yourself. All right, so once they're done, this is what you're looking for. You get a nice variety. Put these on a nice platter, you put these at a party, you're gonna be the king of the party. So that's it. Cut, cut, wait, stop. I almost forgot to taste these. I almost wrapped up the episode without even tasting them. What a shame that would have been. It's Sunday morning at like 11. It's a perfect time for Rice Krispie Treats. I shoot at all kinds of days, times, nights. Let's check it out. Regular. Chocolate. <laughs> well, mmm, not good. Cool. No. It's what you'd expect. It's a Rice Krispie Treat Johnson chocolate. That's good. Oh. 
it's it's chewy. So you have to give me a second. Chocolate. So this is number three. That was mostly chocolate. It's got a mouthful of chocolate. Mmm. Oh, that's good too. Chocolate better than this one. This is the one. We're talking fruits, fruit, fruity pebbles. All-time favorite. Chewy, marshmallow pulls right apart. White chocolate. Call me a middle show. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Do yourself a favor. Do this recipe. Do it with um, fruity pebbles for sure. All right, back to the show. So the next time you need to know what to do at your next party, put something together for the kids, put something to blow people's minds. You're gonna take these, and you're gonna turn them into these. So, right, that being said, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I got some other videos right here. Check them out. Uh, comment below anything you want me to do. Let me know. Until next time, go cook something.